this like a water birth? What are we doing? Should we go? Should I, should I have the, the... Just relax, okay? Just be mellow, because that's what this is all about. Because if it gets too stressful in here, then the baby is born into a stressful environment, and then he's wired for stress for the rest of his life. So just... I talk about things I feel really bad about, like a lot of the I did. I can't believe I said some of that. That's all I think about in my head. I don't want to talk about it. Maybe we could bring the baby into a reconciled place so, so we could talk. No, about... I don't want to go there. Don't go there. Okay, help me stay relaxed. So what, 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 what should I do? You need to call Dr. Howard. Hello? Hello, um, yes, this is, uh, I'm Ben Stone. I'm calling on behalf of Allison Scott. We need Dr. Howard, it's an emergency. Yeah, he's at San Francisco at Bar Mitzvah. He's at a Bar Mitzvah in San Francisco. Do you know when he gets back? In three days. Do you have a cell number by any chance? Hey, good news. I got his number right here. I'm going to call him right now. Oh, great. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you. I'm glad I'm here, too. Thank you. Uh, I shouldn't have told you you were Lunatic. I shouldn't have said that. I feel terrible about it, and, uh... No, it's okay. We're past it. We're past it. I'm sorry I told you to f*** wrong. It's okay. I didn't. Let's just drop it now. We're over it. I can call him right now. You're doing so great. Hello, it's Dr. Howard. I'm not here right now. Please leave a message. Hey, Doc Howard. Ben Stone calling. Guess what the f*** up? Allison's going into labor, and you are not f***ing here. No, where are you at? In bar mitzvah in San Francisco, you mother piece of shit. And you know what I'm gonna have to do now? I'm gonna have to kill you. I'm gonna have to pop a cap in your. You're dead. You're Tupac. You are Biggie, you piece of shit. I hope you die or drop in the chair and kill that kid. Hope your plane crashes. Peace. Sir. Hey. Hey. Did you talk to him? I didn't talk to him directly. I left him a very nice message, though. And, okay, what I'm about to tell you isn't that bad. You should know that going in. We can get through this, and it's just a little hiccup. But everything will be fine, okay? Do you trust me when I say everything will be fine? I can deal with it. Okay. So Dr. Howard is at a bar mitzvah. A bar mitzvah? It's a Jewish rite of passage, and... He's going to be there for the next three days, so he will not be able to be here tonight. Oh, no. It's okay. Um, what do you think we should do? Okay, I know exactly what to do. All we do is we'll get in the car, I'll drive to the hospital, and on the way, we will call every gynecologist we've met. Someone will be available, you know? Okay, I can do that. Okay. Good. I mean, we still have time. I mean, how, how far apart are your contractions? Oh, I think like seven minutes. Seven minutes. See, not until four minutes is it really coming. And has your water broken even? I don't know. I'm in the tub. It's a good point. Have you had, have you had your bloody show? What? What's that? It's, it's, you know, it's a bloody mucusy discharge, but it only comes out right before the baby's going to come. So if that hasn't happened, we have time. We can make it to the hospital. It's no problem. You read the baby books. Yeah. <laughs> I read three of them, actually. Thank you. Oh, come on. Uh, uh, hey. Uh, hey, you okay? 